It was very smoggy and smelly and sooty. You imagine every house down the road had a coal fire and they was all smoking and everywhere used to get smoke, really, really smoky then, didn't it? Those up in the north used to say they would go down to, not the south or anything like that, it was the smog. It was like a white mist in the daytime, but when the darkness come down, and obviously it got worse then, and then people were lighting the fires and the smoke couldn't get up through the fog. It wasn't just the thing that was here one day and gone the next. It was there, five days, four or five days on the trot, wasn't it? All that was causing us to be we were chesty all around. All the old people, you know, dying, we think, you know. It was common knowledge that the smoke was killing people off, even in the papers and things like that, you know. In the recent history of London, probably the most striking episode is what is called sometimes the Great Smog of December 1952, where anywhere between 4,000 and 12,000 people died over a period of perhaps months after this particular smog occurred, and that smog led to the creation of the Clean Air Act of 1956. So it had not only a death's cause, but it had particular changes in the way we regulate air pollution. These events just aren't unique to 1952. Every winter we get still days and sometimes we can get still cold foggy days where pollution just fails to blow away. These occurred in 1991 and there were some very high concentrations of nitrogen dioxide. Later on in 1994, around Christmas time, we had a similar episode and then again in 1997 in about November, December time. So these events occur every few years. Up till about 10 years ago, the majority of health effects focused on the lung. However, in the last decade, the number of other diseases which we now link with air pollution has expanded. We now realise that the very tiny particles which can get deep into your lung and maybe into your blood are associated with vascular disease and cardiovascular disease in later life. And that really does affect many people. Every age tends to use a new fuel. In the earliest history, industries burning coal created air pollution episodes. More recently, the utilization of uh, large quantities of fuel for heating, um, the, the density of vehicles. So every age faces new problems. That would be the lesson from history. <laughs>